another lesson that is part of the TI30XB student course. In this lesson, we will be revisiting the data editor and lists. So we're going to have a look this time at using the data editor and lists function for ca calculating compound interest. So let's click on the data. And once again, I'm going to do the calculations for six years. So I'm going to put in the numbers one through six in list one. And to do that, we take each data value like one and we press enter and it pastes it in. So two, three, four, five and six. I'm then going to move across into list two in order to create a formula. So I use the right arrow to take me across. To put in a formula, I press the data button again, and I need to go across from the clearing of lists to the formula. And I need to add in a formula, so it's option number one. I can just press enter. And in here, I'm going to put in my compound interest calculation. So I'm going to start with $5,000 as my principal or starting value. And I'm going to multiply that by my rate of compound interest, which remember is a growth rate. So I'm going to open up a bracket and put in one plus, and my growth rate is going to be 3.6%. So second and the bracket to get the percent button. And then I'm going to close that bracket. And I'm going to raise that to the power of, using my exponent here. And I want to put in list one for the number of years. So to get that, I now click on data and it asks me which list would I like to use. Well, all of my years are in list one, so I'm choosing list one and I press enter. I then press enter again and it fills down. So what I can see is that after one year, my $5,000 has grown to $5,180. And I can scroll through that list, through the different values, or to get to my bottom value, I can use second and the down arrow. And I can see that at the end, I have $6,182 in total in my bank account. But sometimes the question doesn't ask for just how much you have in total. Sometimes you might be asked for how much interest and we can keep track of that by going across to list three. And once again, we're going to create a little formula to help us out. So let's go to the data menu and go across to formula and press enter to add in a formula. And what we need to calculate the interest is that difference of the total amount minus the starting amount. So let's use that. Our total amounts are now stored in list two. So let's go to data and choose list two. So go down to number two there and I'm going to subtract my starting amount, my principal, enter. And there it is. So I can see that after one year, I'd earned $180, but after two years, I don't $366.48. And once again, if I go second and down, I can get to the bottom to see that I earned $1,182 in interest. Well, that's it for this lesson. 